I don't know if it's something about me, but I feel like the world's dumbest criminals keep showing up at my airport and I just keep catching them. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian and welcome back to airport security. That's right, this is my airport and very dumb people keep showing up here. Like Lucas Cox here, I'm pretty sure you're not the person in your passport. In fact, I think the guy who you claim to be is standing right behind you. You see him? You're like... Could you be any more obvious about your crime? You've stolen that guy's passport and now you're pretending to be him. Anyways, I'm suspicious because you're not this guy. Arrest that woman, Mario. Get, get her. <laughs> So my name is Harper Gray, and I'm 46 years old. I, I keep talking about this. Why do you start your sentence with so? So my name is Harper Gray. Don't do that. It's automatically suspicious if you start it with so. But I will say, like, everything checks out except for your age, which, to be fair, is kind of, like, big deal. Like, you know, maybe she just doesn't want to admit how old she truly is. Although she's making herself older. Normally, it's the reverse right like you you lie to make yourself younger i don't know harper gray just <laughs> i feel like it's a little harsh to have mario take you away in handcuffs for trying to be younger than or trying to be older than you actually are but whatever all right come through the sprinkle time x-ray machine weird indiana jones wannabe come on through really get him wait what he grabbed a guy who looks just like him you think they're in it together <laughs> So I did hit the send security button, mostly because it had a timer and I couldn't resist pressing the button, but it, it forces you to watch an ad if you go that route. The next time that happens, I kind of want to let it run its course because I don't think we've ever done that. I always hit the button. I always watch the ad. I can't help it. Get him. Get me on a private jet to the Maldives. Sir, your ticket says Michigan. He's like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, Michigan. That's what I meant. First class or else. Um, we can do premium economy. Does that sound good? Can we? No, no. He will not accept premium economy. First class straight to Michigan. Let's arrest him. How does this work? I like threw like tomahawk throw the, the handcuffs at him. I'm the world's most incredible security officer. What is that? Is that just a super soaker or is it some kind of gas gun I, I gotta find out what this thing is we gotta get this because that doesn't seem safe it's a super soaker but what if it's full of acid i guess a water gun is okay to take on an airplane news to me i'd arrest her in fact i'm gonna arrest her <laughs> just because i'm a bad security officer what you're the guy who got grabbed earlier who was dressed like the guy who had literal shurikens in his shirt um, you got a squirrel in there, man. Thing alive? I'm, I guess I'm gonna find out. <laughs> There's just a whole squirrel. Is it like a taxidermied squirrel? Was it like a taxidermied squirrel? Who, who does that? Also, how many glasses do you need, my dude? He's wearing sunglasses, and then he has two prescription, like, reading glasses on top of his weird hat? This guy's kind of freaking me out. I don't think you should be bringing squirrels onto an airplane. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that squirrel is alive, for the record. Th let's arrest this guy. Don't, like, where did you even get the squirrel from? Did you just pick it up at the parking lot while you were getting into the airport? Who does that? All right, it's dog time. Get him, Fido. Sniff out the contraband. See if we can find... Look at this guy. Man, he is so happy to be going on vacation. This is his first vacation in 15 years. Guaranteed. Okay, we're picking up on something. Is it you? No. Okay. Is it over here? Oh, man. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. It's you. What you What you got in there? A cat? I'm allowed to bring him. He's my emotional support cat. I kind of want to let her go. I mean, you can't just put an animal on your luggage. It's going to be bad for you and the animal. But I love the idea of someone just sitting on an airplane with a cat in their lap, which would never, ever happen. Unless you're going through my airport where, you know, just weird things seem to happen. So let her through. I shouldn't have, but I did. 
I also arrested someone for bringing a super soaker on a plane. So really differing ideas here. Let's keep rolling with it. Give me my money. I've earned it for being a very bad security officer. But I mean, come on. That move where I like nunchucked the handcuffs onto that guy's arms. I mean, that alone makes up for all the terrible decisions I made after that. I think that's fair. You're a ninja. Um, let's, let's, you know what? Let's change up the look of our, of our airport. We, we have the money. We have the means. <laughs> Can we go like uh, steampunk or do we go futuristic? Let's go steampunk. That is so stupid, but I would be very excited to go through a, a scanning machine if it looked like that. Excited or scared? Like what if it's actually using ancient technology, just blasting me with radiation? Maybe it's not so good. Either way, um, upgrade the desks to steampunk desks. I'm aspiring to become the world's oldest new airport or newest old airport. And I think we're gonna get there. Look at that, amazing. You think that typewriter has internet? <laughs> All right, let's get back to Ninja Guy. I've spent all my money. What's your name? Benjamin Wood. I'm 46 and I'm from Costa Rica. Benjamin, you're good. Just as long as you don't have like any ninja sabers or, you know, throwing stars in your pockets as ninjas tend to do. You know me, right? No, no, I'm not falling for your bribes. Get that man, Dan Druff. <laughs> then you should use head and shoulders. I'm 37 and from United States. Okay, so the only thing that doesn't check out is his nationality, which says that he's from Greece. So I guess we're gonna arrest him. Get him, Mario. It's a me, Mario. Kimberly Brown is my name. Weird way of phrasing that. I'm 55 and from Nigeria. Think you're good. Let her through this. Oh, it's the guy who's so excited to go on vacation. That's right, it's me, Crispy Bacon. <laughs> What a name, what a beautiful name. Um, Chris, or can I call you Mr. Bacon? I understand that you're very excited to go on vacation. It's been a long time, I can tell. You're a different person than what your passport says. And for that, I'm going to have to arrest you. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Maybe next time, bring your passport and not one that you stole from someone. We'll see, we'll, maybe we'll interrogate him later and he'll have a good reason, probably not. All right, ma'am, step through the most advanced uh, scanning machine known to mankind. Oh no, she has sunglasses. I'm more concerned about the fact that she has sunglasses on her shoulder that I can't actually see without the scanning machine, which tells me that she's actually hiding the sunglasses underneath her skin. Are you okay, ma'am? It's fine, you can go. Like, more power to you, I guess. Um, nothing. Uh, wait, I didn't realize you could zoom in. I, I actually, that's the first time I've used this feature. I think he's good, unless there's something on the back, but I don't think so. I think it would come through. Let's let him through. He also looks like a secret agent, which is pretty cool. Yeah, ninja guy, I forget your name. Why are these people so dumb? Pat him down. Mostly I'm concerned about right here, this underwear. What are you planning on doing with this? Can you explain yourself? No, I don't care about the sword or the shurikens. What are you doing with this underwear, sir? Wearing it? Ha, a likely excuse. All right, let's arrest him. Um, <laughs> Get him, Mario. What is that? Is that a toothbrush? I think it's just a toothbrush, but let's let's just do our due diligence. Make sure it's a toothbrush. You're good. You're good. You're fine. Just don't put it in your pocket when you go through the scanning machine. Now what? Okay, we're, we're going through the uh, x-ray machines. No animals. No animals. Everything else is totally fine. You're fine. Keep going. That's a turtle. Don't bring a turtle on your carry-on luggage. It's not fair to the turtle. Arrest this person. They're a monster, and they might actually have killed that turtle if I didn't stop them. That's just a hat. You're good. You're fine. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't look like an animal. Maybe a tablet? Get him, get him through. I want to do some interrogations. I need to find out more about Ninja guy. Ninja guy? We're talking to you? No, we're not gonna talk to ninja guy. We just threw him in a cell and, and never checked back in. Also, uh, Viking, dude, are you okay? <laughs> My guy is wearing no pants, as is the tradition of the Vikings. <laughs> But also, what has me more concerned is that he's wearing one sock and one sandal. Why? What happened to you? Anyways, um, I have a feeling that this is the guy that we're after. Let's see. Let's see if this is what Fido discovers is the contraband. It, it 100% is pantless Viking guy. He just brought a bomb. Just, you know, 
oh yeah, of course, the ancient Viking tradition of putting bombs in your luggage. You're not even trying to hide the fact that that's a bomb either. Like that is the most obvious bomb bomb ever. You're under arrest. I'm the best. Let's see if we can afford another upgrade now. It's kind of a bummer that I get paid my salary for working so hard and being the world's greatest airport security guy. And then I have to spend my own money to upgrade the airport. That doesn't seem right. Let's upgrade the board. And by upgrade, I mean downgrade to something from like the 1800s. <laughs> Awesome. Also the wallpaper. This is balloons? Okay, it's a nice look. It's different. What about the decor? You know what? I will watch the ad to make my decor look like something from the movie The Wild West. And there you go. Now we have plants in weird like steam jug jars. I don't even know. It's the best way I could describe it. Hello, sir. Um, you don't look suspicious at all. And uh, I'm sure that everything about this guy is gonna check out. Name, fill down, age. 27 and I'm from Switzerland. Sounds good, right? I mean, yeah, <laughs> honestly, it does sound good, but I have a feeling at some point in your process of making your way through the airport, something's not gonna check out. Name, Daniel Smith, age 44, I'm from Britain. Sounds good, right? Gives me another wink. Um wrong. No, you're suspicious because your name is Noah White on your passport and you're also 65. Definitely look 65. Get him, Mario. Beautiful. Give him the people's elbow. I'll pack him a bag. I remember you from a previous incident. Um... <laughs> from Asgard, hanging out with Thor. Um, yeah, I, I love your name, but your passport doesn't seem correct. Pretty much all of it, yeah. Maybe we'll talk to her later. Lily King, she's 23 years old. She loves spiders. Thanks for that little tidbit of information that I didn't really need. You're good, let her through. We're gonna find a spider. Like, she's gonna have a spider on her. All right, you look a little intense. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Really? Okay, we're gonna let it run. Remember, we said we were gonna let it run, see what happens. She just took that person away. She just walked away. I just let her go. She had a bomb in her shirt and a hostage. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Alright. Um, so he has what appears to be a mace. Or I don't like a I don't know what that's called. It's a weapon of some sort. Uh, the other object, I I don't know what that is, but then he also has a punching bag on his back. An entire punching bag? I kind of respect it. He he wants to get his workout routines done. And he's committed. So committed that he's going to bring it on a plane. It must be very heavy. You know what? For your commitment, I'm going to let you through. Wrong choice. Nah. It was good. It was a good choice. Yep. Okay. She has a spider. Lily King, thank you for disclosing your love of spiders. I'm going to let you through. <laughs> Suddenly, I've become the world's worst security guard. Headphones! Get this one. You can't. Those headphones are huge. Do you know the kind of damage you can do with headphones like that? Get, take her away. Take her away. I can't even look at you. Disgusting. What a monster. I'll pack up my bags. You're back. Oh, this is going to be fun. What seems to be the problem, officer? I just, I wanted to talk to you and I wanted to let you know that I love alpacas. They are the best. All right, see ya. Solid work, officer. I just realized that we have flying plants in our airport, which is actually pretty sweet. I think that dude that wasn't wearing a shirt is gonna be at the top of our list of people we need to go sniff. Let's see what's going on. I'm on to you. Yeah. What you just, you look like you just got off the beach and walked directly into the airport. Is there a problem? This is food for my pup at home. Doggos? How could you feed this garbage to your pet? It's just filled with GMOs and worthless grain. You can hang out with headphone girl, right? Because... This messed up. It's really messed up, man. I really just got paid $1,050 for basically doing the worst job I possibly could. This is awesome.